So let's talk transfers. Um, obviously, Arsenal are linked with just about everybody so far in the last week or so. Amazing how far this £50 million so-called budget we have is going to stretch. Um, first player I'm going to talk about is Emil Forsberg, the Leipzig left winger. Um, believe it or not, we're apparently interested in this guy for the whole of our transfer budget of £50 million. A um, little bit baffled by this story, I must admit, because I've looked at the guy's stats and whilst he is a a 26-year-old left winger who is half decent, I do rate him, I do think he's a good player, but I've looked at his stats from last season, um, the season that's just ended. He's played over 30 games and only contributed five goals in that time. So I'm a little bit baffled as to whether this story is genuine to start off with um, and whether the price is genuine. Listen, come on, we ain't got 50 million quid to spend. We've got a lot more than that. That's a, that's a given in my opinion. But I don't believe we're going to go out there and spend 50 million pounds on this guy, especially when he's only scored five goals in all competitions for Leipzig. So for me, I'm not convinced by that. If it was me personally, and I was in charge of buying a left winger, um, I'd be looking at somebody like Martial. I think Martial would be a, a little bit cheaper. Um, he's proven that he can score goals in the Premier League. Um, he's younger and um, he's played at a massive club already in Man United. So for me, the Emil Forsberg story, that's got no legs in my opinion. Now, on to the next one. Um, we are apparently close to signing Socrates from Borussia Dortmund. Um, this guy has played over 70 times for his country, Greece. He's played for Borussia Dortmund, he currently plays for them now, and he's got one year left on his contract. Now, the rumour is that there's an £18 million fee being touted about. That's what Borussia Dortmund are looking for. We're sort of hovering around the £15 million barrier at the minute. But I do think this one will get over the line, and I do think that he will be an Arsenal player come the first game of the season. Um, I don't think we'll get him for £15 million. I think we'll probably have to go all the way up to the £18 million. But if we do sign this guy, he's a lot, lot better in terms of quality than what we currently have at centre-back. Because obviously we've all seen Mustafi this season be absolutely comical with some of his defending. And Koscielny, I don't think we'll probably see him again in an Arsenal shirt, to be honest with you. Um, obviously he's had that Achilles injury for a long time now. Um, he's making way too many mistakes to be an Arsenal player. So obviously we're on the hunt for a centre-back. And personally, I think Socrates fits the bill. Um, he's tall, he's strong, um, he's quite quick. He's not rapid, but he's quite quick and he knows how to defend properly. So that's a fucking start, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I would be happy if we signed him. Now, another one that's close to being done is a free signing of Licksteiner from Juventus. Obviously, his contract is up now. Um, he's played for Juventus for seven years, over 200 odd games. In that seven years, he's won seven titles. He's also won seven cups. Um, a wealth of experience. He's the captain for Switzerland, his country, um, and he's a free signing. Now, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, yeah, but he's 34 years old and he's too old. We're not a retirement home, this and that. Listen, Hector Bellerin at right back hasn't got a single player that can push him. So for me, let's go and get this guy. It's a no-brainer. Pay him the wages. It won't be stupidly high wages because of his age. We won't have to pay a fee because he's a free signing. So when Hector Bellerin does have a slump, or if Hector's um, injured, for example, then we know that we've got quality cover to back him up. A proven winner, proven title winner, and somebody who's captained his country, so he's obviously a leader at the same time. So I'll be over the moon if we sign Licksteiner. Now, another player we're linked with, I'll probably butcher this geezer's name, but his name is Kagla Soonchu. Like I said, I've probably butchered that, so apologies. But um, he's played 50 appearances for Freiburg. Um, he's a Turkish international now as well. And again, another defender. Atletico Madrid are in the running for him as well. But he has come out and said, I know Arsenal are interested in me and we'll have a look after the, um, after the World Cup. So, so yeah, we're obviously looking, um, we're looking at centre-backs. That's, that's for, um, for sure. I'm happy with that. Um, he's a young lad. And um, that, that could be a good partnership. Obviously, we're looking in the German league as well. Obviously, Sven Mislintat obviously knows what he's doing with that, that side of the market. Um, and listen, anybody who, um, who comes in under Sven and under Emery, I'll back 100%. Um, because at the end of the day, 
we need holes in that squad fixing big time, especially central defence. Now, if we can go and get this guy and Socrates and even Licksteiner at right back, then I think we've done a good job defensively there. Obviously, I think we do need to strengthen still in midfield. Um, we need a left winger. I think, I think that's a given. Obviously, since Sanchez has left, um, think what you want about Alexis Sanchez, but that guy scored goals for fun. So I think we do need somebody in that position. And I do also think we need a defensive midfielder. But all in all, I'm quite happy with um, the players we're being linked with. Whether they all get done or not remains to be seen. But I do think, like I said, I think Licksteiner will be done. And I also think um, Socrates will be done. Both of them are no-brainers. If you can get both of, both of them players for that, of that quality for 16, 18, 19 million pound plus wages, it's got to be done. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think we need to bolster the squad. Um, the names, leave them down below. Um, what positions you think need filling as well. And um, whether you think we should go for more proven Premier League players or whether you, you should expand out and have a look at players in the German, Italian and other leagues, Spanish leagues, etc. I will endeavour to answer as many of the comments as I can. I am busy today, so that will probably be tomorrow. And massive respect to every single one of you that subscribe to this channel already. Um, let's push this up to over a thousand subs and I'll have my 11,000 back by the start of the season. Well, that's the fucking aim anyway. Don't forget, you can follow my Instagram and my Twitter, LeeGunner82. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.